Hello and welcome to another Royal Reviewer channel episode and in today's episode we are going to be doing a special opening. We are going to be doing an opening of this special hamper. Now I do know what it is because it was on my Amazon wish list and came with this note so I will read out the note to you and it says a gift note from Hot Dog Hill Sanctuary. Enjoy your gift. I hope you can celebrate the Queen and her family in Balmoral for us. Your weekly chat is so fun and informative from Pam G. So another big thank you to Pam G. I did reveal this in a previous video, but today we are going to open it. Now this is going to be a two part video. So I'm going to be opening and unboxing this hamper to see what's inside. I'll read you all the products, what's inside it. To be perfectly honest, I can't even remember what is inside it. Um, so it will be quite a surprise for me. And then part two, we'll be tasting them along with this special Harry and Meghan traditional all butter shortbread biscuits, which are official from Buckingham Palace, which I received as a gift a while ago now. I've been waiting for the perfect opportunity to taste these. And I think whilst I'm tasting the Balmoral treats, I will also taste these. So stay tuned for part two. Now without further ado, I'm going to open the hamper. So first of all, I'll just show you the hamper. Um, it's a big red kind of cardboard box and it says hamper.com on the front. By the way, this video is definitely not sponsored. I am just showing you um, the hamper in its entirety of what was sent to me from my Amazon wish list. As I say, you can find hamper.com on Amazon too and I would imagine there is also a website. So it comes wrapped up in a kind of cellophane. So let's get straight into the cell phone. I'm never any good at opening it. So, so there's no faff, I will just use my trusty pair of scissors. So that comes off rather easily. And you can probably see a little bit clearer. It says hamper.com on the front. So let's see, can you all see the box if I step back a little bit further? There we go. Okay. Um, let's make sure I do this the right way. Is there a correct way of opening these? I have no idea. I'm usually so terrible with opening boxes. So, I'm imagining there is some kind of, aha, there's a flap. Right. So, are you ready for the big reveal? Oh, okay. Wow, look. Oh, look at these treats. Okay, I'm going to be showing you all of these individually in a second. So let's see. So this was of course the Balmoral Hamper. If I move it there you can see it. It was the Balmoral Hamper. So I'm presuming it is all kinds of Scottish treats. Hence my Scottish flag and my Scottish Piper Bear. Um, so let's see what's inside the box. We have a Thomas Tucker classic popcorn. Classic sweet and salty. No artificial colours or flavours. 113 calories per serving. Um, now I don't know, are these traditionally Scottish? Were they made in Scotland? I do not know. Uh, manufactured in the UK. So it could most definitely be... Oh, made in the UK in Worksop. Um, I presume that's not Scotland, but maybe these are really, really popular in Scotland. I don't know. Have a look at the packet. So there we go. There is a bag of popcorn for the Balmoral treats. Um, I'm going to put all the things I've opened over here. Okay, we have uh, nib nibs. Where do you nibble yours? That's what it says. Where do you nibble your nibs? Rosemary big minis, breadsticks for dipping, um, from the Yorkshire bakers. Well, Yorkshire is um, fairly near Scotland, so I'll give them that one. It says nib nibs is a bakery where we make the most fabulous things: breadsticks made with superior wheat flour, extra virgin olive oil, and sea salt. Using only the finest ingredients, we mix our dough in a small batch and then bake these deliciously crispy breadsticks to perfection. And so there you go. These were made in Yorkshire. So I will be tasting those in the next video. Okay, no. I want to see something really Scottish. It is the Balmoral Hamper. Um, 10 new English teas. English afternoon tea. Um, these do look quite nice. Let's have a look. 10 individually wrapped and tagged tea bags. A blend of flavour and briskness create a refreshing afternoon tea. Well, there we go. I will look forward to tasting those. 
So what's next? Dark chocolate honeycomb bar. Finest handcrafted honeycomb made in England. Light and crisp honeycomb made with honey and covered in a smooth Belgian dark chocolate. Gluten free. Well, there we go. Now, I was expecting to see something made in Scotland, weren't you? Um, I'm hoping there is something made in Scotland. Or maybe it's just that these are really popular in Scotland. Um, product, ah, finally, a product of Scotland. Walkers, established in 1898. Salted caramel and milk chocolate cookies. Okay, now we're talking. Uh, these look really, really good. And manufactured in Scotland as well. Um, so there we go. If I just show you those, they do look rather yummy and delicious. And I'll be looking forward to trying those. Okay. Oh, what is this? We have a cake. I'm going to show you the cake before I even read it. It looks delicious. Um, it's a whiskey dundee fruit cake. Okay, now we're talking again. From the original cake company. Um, once opened, consume within 14 days. I don't think that will be a problem. Um, but it looks lovely. Um, fortunately, I'm not allergic to nuts, so that's okay. Uh, but if you are, if you do have a nut allergy, I would stay away from this dundee cake. I can see Molly in the background. She's come to help. If she's not, she's gone to sleep. She'll probably jump on the chair. Okay, so we have the cake. Um, what is this? Natural green pitted olives. Olives, lemon and rosemary. And um, now I have no idea if these are a, no, these are packed in Morocco, but they must be, I'm, I'm taking it, the ones that aren't juiced in Scotland are really popular in Scotland. So if someone from Scotland is watching, please tell me if these things are actually popular where you are. Um, but these are the olives. Now, I'm not a big olive lover, I have to admit. So I will be, when I'm tasting these, um, it will be an experience, but I will, I will take one for the team and I will definitely try these olives, but I probably won't like them. <laughs> I've never liked any olives that I've tried ever, um, but I will most definitely be trying these just to make sure um, that I really don't like olives. What's next? Um, Cambrook Brilliantly Caramelised Sesame Peanuts. Roasted peanuts caramelised in a wonderfully fine glaze with a sprinkling of sesame seeds, 45 grams. And there we have the little snack. Um, now these were handmade in England, okay? Um, yeah, they're just handmade in England. In Hampshire, from Hampshire, in fact. Um, so yes, again, not a Scottish product, but are these popular in Scotland? Then we have a mandarin orange segments in a light syrup. So we have some tinned oranges. There's the tin lid. Um, where were these manufactured? Let's have a look. Okay, well they were ripe, well, they were grown in Spain. So I would imagine they would be, uh, yeah, packed in Spain for in Hampshire again. So a lot of these products are actually from Hampshire, but it was sold as a Balmoral hamper. So I was expecting lots more Scottish type products, but again, maybe these are really popular in Scotland. Can somebody let me know? Okay, Plowman's Pickle, handmade naturally. Now again, pickle isn't my favorite, but I will take one for the team and I will try some pickle. Um, just add cheese, ham or sandwiches. Um, and it's a scarlet mustard. Scarlet and mustard, but the mustard is upside down, look, can you see? If I turn it round, the scarlet and the mustard are the other way up. Um, now where was this produced? In Suffolk. So again, it was produced in Suffolk, which is England, not Scotland. Okay, Mackey's, or Mackey's, with whole fruit, Scottish blackcurrant preserve. Uh, well, there we go. We have a Scottish blackcurrant preserve, which of course I will um, definitely look forward to trying. To make our delicious blackcurrant preserve, we use only the finest Scottish blackcurrants grown in the berry fields of Eastern Scotland. Wow. So I will definitely 
uh, be looking forward to that. And the last thing in the box is a tin of Baxter's soup. Um, it's vegetarian, Italian tomato and basil, and it has a crest by appointment to Her Majesty the Queen, so it has a royal warrant. Um, and I think Baxter's is Scottish anyway. Um, let's have a look. I'm sure it is. Although it may not be manufactured in Scotland. I don't know. Oh, it is. There we go. If you have any comments, please contact Baxter's Food Group, which are based in Scotland. So there we go. Um, so it is a tin of Scottish Baxter's soup. Um, so I'm going to have to heat this up for my tasting and um, probably one of the products I will be testing first. So, um, if you want to see me trying all those different products, please watch or stay tuned for part two, which I will probably have out um, either later this week or next week. Now, there was one other thing I was going to show you. So, once I've done this series, I've received something else. Now, I did actually open this, um, and I'll give you a little glimpse of what's inside. There's a purple, a purple velvet, um, bag inside and there's something else inside the bag um, so I'm not going to tell you what it is but it is something incredibly special that deserves its own video so I will be opening this in an upcoming future video so please stay tuned for that and if you'd like to make a guess about what's in the box um, please leave a comment in the comment section below about what you think it is and um, what could be so special that it needs its own video so do let me know your thoughts also let me know all your thoughts and comments on the produce that i have opened today um, again if you are from scotland please let me know if some of the things if well if most of the things in this package are actually eaten in scotland if they are something that's popular let me know uh, but i in particular will be looking forward to trying the products that are actually scottish because, that, because after all this is supposed to be a Scottish hamper. Um, like I say, this is not sponsored, but if you would like to experience um, a hamper from hamper.com, there you go. Um, if you would like to experience um, one of their hampers, I found them on Amazon. So do go and take a look or just try their website. So until next time, from me in Shropshire, goodbye.